and let me say that all protocol observed. It is indeed an honor for me to chair this very important occasion as a launch of an app for the tertiary education institutions network of the NDC in Ghana. I am excited because today in Ghana, the youth has lost hope because of the mismanagement of the economy and the total direction the country is going. And so everybody is looking up to the youth as a force of mobilization to galvanize our party and work across the length and breadth of this country to ensure that the NDC wins power come 2024 to implement our agenda for social change, our agenda to rescue Ghana, our agenda to ensure that the lot of Ghanaians are better. Because everybody knows that when NDC is in power, there is development, there is economic development, there is progress. And so, launching this app today, at the time that all indicators in this country is going into the negative direction. Inflation is going up, unemployment is skyrocketed. Today, NAPCO have not been paid. And I've been told that the National Service personnel who even received a paltry less than 600 Ghana cities have not been paid. This has never happened in the country. And today, posterity is really coming to judge President John Dramani Mahama because for the first time, the professors are even coming to review their position on the word review. And when we said we we'll review the senior high school, free senior high school, they equated review to cancellation. Today, I don't know which dictionary they are consulting, but they are coming back to their senses and they are asking for a review. Well, we in the NDC will always be vindicated because we always mean well for the people of this country. And so, launching this app is a clarion call for all and sundry to get on board. It's a clarion call for us to put our shoulders to the wheel. It's a clarion call for us to roll our sleeves and get into the trenches. We have 40, over 40,000 pulling stations. Ten over the years, I believe that we have churned out more than 40,000 people ever since then was established in 1994 or thereabout. And so my challenge to you today is that the launching of this app should be a launch pad for spreading our organization across all the 40,000 polling stations and making our presence felt there because it is at the polling stations where elections are won. On this note, I want to thank you for the opportunity and to assure you that the National Secretariat and the party was solidly behind you because from COVID era, organizational systems are changing. And for that matter, we cannot do the same thing. I remember when we came here for the launch of our manifesto, the General Secretary said that we should think outside the box. And I believe that this one is a direct response of the call for us to think outside the box. We are really thinking outside the box. The party itself is digitizing our ID card and several other things. And we know that with COVID, the environment has changed. And organizational strategy and tactics must also change accordingly. Once again, I want to congratulate you on this, and I believe that this is the beginning of great things to happen on the youth front and for the party together. I accept with all humility, and I believe that you all helped me to bring this uh, occasion to a very successful end. Once again, thank you, and God bless you. But for the, our friends from Commonwealth, uh, you might be seeing me to take you through some of the NDC signs because it is very important that when you come here and we are doing this mobilization, uh, 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 one of our slogans or sounds like, if you want to join the NDC, see the secretary and write your name. If you want to join the NDC, 
see the secretary and write your name. Hallelujah. The boys are Zuzu, the girls are Zaza, and this is Guru. Forevermore, the boys are Zuzu, the girls are Zaza, and this is Guru. Forevermore. Thank you very much, National Chairman. Thank you very much, our friends from the from Commonwealth Hall. Thank you very much, Chairman, for accepting to chair this occasion. Indeed, we have one of the youngest chairmen who uh, can also lead the Mura Church. You can only get this in NDC. Please clap for yourselves. We've also been joined by the Deputy Regional Communications Officer for the NDC in Greater Accra, Honorable Simon Kwekutete. Please, let's acknowledge him. The Tain team from the Ashanti region are here. They are led by the Regional Tain Coordinator, Patrick Kwami Etuya. Please, may you be upstanding as we acknowledge you. Thank you very much. We also have uh, former TAIN executives from the various institutions across the country. They are here. I can see Obiara Bosman, my good friend. Please, we appreciate all of you. We thank you for coming. Next on the program is a speech by the National Youth Organizer. But before that, the regional youth organizers, my colleagues here, we may also have to lead a mura to rival our friends from Commonwealth Hall. So the regional youth organizers here, please may you be upstanding. Revolution. That's a long way to go, but has come to stay. Revo, revo, revolution. That's a long way to go, but has come to stay. Kedas may come, but the revolution has come to stay. Revo, revo, revolution has a long way to go. But has come to stay. Revo, revo, revolution has a long way to go. But has come to stay. Kedas may go, kedas may come. But the revolution has come to stay. Revo, revo, revolution has a long way to go, but has come to stay. Hear this. Mwa mukasatia Pablo, Mosakra, Mosakra, Mwa mukasatia Pablo, Mokakra, Hallelujah, Mwa mukasatia Pablo, Mosakra, Mosakra, Mwa mukasatia Pablo. The fate of the NDC. I mean again, and the people say, hey, hey, job, the victory of the NDC is coming again. And the people say, hey, hey, job, say, 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 and the people say, we are yeah yeah J and Beba. We are yeah yeah J and Beba. We are yeah yeah J and Mungo de Allah. Mungo de Allah. 
Allah eh. Abinda muche so Allah ya bamu. Abinda muche so Allah ya bamu. Mungo de Allah Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Youth power. Okay. Okay. Youth. 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 Power. 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 Action. It seems all the youth are here. And our big men from this side, we've not heard them chant the youth slogan. Youth. 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 Power. 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 Action. It appears the Deputy National Communication Officer Kogan wants to join the youth wing. But you must apply through lawyer George Opariado, who honorably accepts you. Ezu. Ezu. With a round of applause, please help me welcome the National Youth Organizer of the NDC, lawyer George Opariado. Unfortunately, Akogan is a member of the women's wing for your information. So we cannot accept him. I don't want to fight Hannah this year. Dr. Hannah will not spare me if I take Akogan away from the women's wing. Oh, General, would you allow him to join the youth wing? Anyway, thank you very much. Youth, youth, youth. Youth power, 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 power, action, 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 action. Now, 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 now. Thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. Your Excellency, President John Dramani Mahama. The former president of the Republic of Ghana and the incoming president of Ghana in the year 2025. The chairman of the occasion, who also doubles as the chairman of the National Democratic Congress, Dr. Samuel Ofosuampofu, the general secretary of the NDC, the general mosquito who doesn't spread mosquito, who doesn't spread malaria. I learned that in Cape Coast over the weekend. Honorable Johnson Asiedun Ketia. Prof. Nana Jenopukwajimai, our running mate for the 2020 elections, and hopefully our running mate for 2024. <laughs> Professor Joshua Alabi, the landlord of this noble institution, the man who transformed this school and made it what it is today. <laughs> My able national organizer, Captain Joshua Akamba, my seniors that have taken over from Ludwig and Sidi, our members of parliament, Honorable Lokujetua Blakwa, Honorable Sosu, and Honorable Woyome, who are here this morning, and every other important dignitary who has honored this meeting. Good afternoon to everyone. Warm greetings and welcome to a historic event in the timeline of the National Democratic Congress and our Evergreen Youth Wing. As we are gathered here today, we gather on the cups of a new era for the Youth Wing of the NDC in consonance with a new age of technology-driven mobilization. The origins of our party tell a tale of a new tradition born to meet the demands of the time, which called for a new political order that recognized and reached out to the ordinary Joe. At the center of that political movement was mobilization. Our ability to reach out to Ghanaians and bring them aboard the ship was the cornerstone of the NDC. This principle is the same within the youth wing of our party. In an age where communication, in an age where communication and outreach are heavily underscored by technology, it is essential that our efforts align with this new tide. We live in an age where money travels across mobile wallets within seconds.
which Ekufuadu wants to tax, but we are not giving him a levy. We live in an age where you can communicate without barriers. We live in an age where, with a click of a button, wonders happen. We live in an age where we cannot allow the exigencies of the time stop us from communicating. If these interactions are possible despite the burial of distance, then surely political mobilization can be made possible by leveraging on this same medium of technology. And when National Chairman spoke, we all saw what COVID did to us and we saw how difficult it was for all of us to organize our usual branch meetings and engage in our communities. But today, technology provides us with a solution. Three years after my elections into office as National Youth Organizer, I am honored to adore the fulfillment of this new paradigm with the launch of this novel Teen Mobile App. Your Excellency, Mr. President and Chairman for the occasion, I can confidently assert that the state of the youth wing is stronger than before and we are on an upward path of growth. To unleash the full potential of Teen, however, it is important to recognize the nature of its membership and what drives mobilization within the space. TAIN's membership is made up of students across various campuses. The most common characteristics among all these members is their reliance on mobile devices and technology for their academic, extracurricular, and social activities as students. It means that if we as a party are fully organized and we want to mobilize our membership, then we can fall on technology to do the same. It would be incomplete without the instruments of technology in this modern era of mobilization. The TAIN app, Your Excellency, is revolutionary, not just within the remit of the NDC, but within the entirety of the Ghanaian political landscape for students. The app will enable seamless communication between TAIN chapters and their members. It will aid with the registration of new members and contact with student leaders nationwide since their information is captured directly on its platform. The app will also automatically generate standardized digital TIN ID cards for members to identify with their various local TIN institutions. The database generated from membership registration will be extremely relevant for work in various branches and constituencies. And one of the features of the app when it is unveiled is that if you register on the app as a student, it goes through a certain verification process. One of the processes that you go through is to identify which constituency you vote in and which polling station you belong to. You can also access the NDC's national website on the app and you can also request for your NDC's national ID card on the app. So the era of looking for party agents and we can't find, we believe that this is going to help solve those challenges that has confronted us over the years. There are two people here who will speak to the app, the social features of the app and what it does, and then because it is data that will be collected, I know most of you have concerns with issues pertaining to data. There is a technical person here from my team, the app developers, who will also speak to the issues of security in respect to the app. But I can assure everybody here that this is what will lead the NDC into the next elections, and this is what will enable us to secure the ballots at the various polling stations. The milestone would have been impossible without the dedication of the solid team that fuels my leadership. And when I say solid team, I'm not referring to the solid economic management team that have run Ghana into a ditch. I'm referring to the solid team of the NDC's youth wing made up of regional youth organizers, constituency youth organizers, team patrons, our students that lead the various leadership that have sat down, thought through this, and come out with these innovative ideas. That is the solid team I'm referring to. Lord Mahmoud Baumier, the solid mismanagement economic team. 
Our party is blessed with countless promising young minds who form the future of the Akatamansu tradition. When posterity looks back on this day, may it be said that we set a wheel rolling which position Tain on a new paradigm of growth. May the seeds we are sowing here today lay the foundation for a stronger youth wing that we all desire to see. And before I resume my seat, I want to say a very big thank you to FES. Um, they've partnered us and they saw to it that we undertook today's exercise. It's been very difficult, but any time we had gone knocking on their doors, they have been very forthcoming, and we say thank you to them. I also want to say a big thank you to my two able deputies, Eric Edem Agbana and Rudela Sedo, my 16 regional youth organizers, and their two deputies, and their various deputies, let me put it that way, and to the national executives of the NDC. I remember last week, Tuesday, at FEC, General said that he's not listening to them, so I have to come and brief him later on, else we cannot do it. But any time I've gone before the leadership of the NDC, the National Chairman, the General Secretary, even at short notice, they honor us. The youth wing has carried them across this country. There are times we'll call the General Secretary, we are going to war, he will come. We'll call the National Chairman, we are in Tamale, he will come. Even at very short notices. Sometimes we only give them a day's notice and they stop whatever they are doing to come and join us. And also I want to commend my national organizer who has given us a free role to operate. There are times I go and do it before I even come back and tell him that I was in this region to do this. And also we want to say a very big thank you to His Excellency President John Dramani Mahama. We all know the support he gave us during the elections, the vehicles, the motorbikes. But we are grateful and we hope that God greatly reward your efforts. Thank you very much and may God be with all of you. Please we can do it better for the National Youth Organizer. Thank you very much, boss. We've been joined by the Member of Parliament for Inkranza North, Honorable Joseph Mensah. Please, let's acknowledge him. We also have with us the Deputy Vota Regional Women Organizer, Akusika Akpene. Please, if she's here, thank you very much for coming. Also with us is the National President of Professional Forum, Ambassador Sampi Yali. He's here with his able lieutenants, the General Secretary of Pro Forum, Dr. Joe Wapia. We also have the Deputy General Secretary of Pro Forum, Dr. Mrs. Benedicta Ofosu Mensa. Also here with us is the former MCE for Lamquanta 9, Honorable Franklin Anku. Please, let's acknowledge him. The National Youth Organizer, Lawyer George Opariado, acknowledged FES Ghana for the role they have played in partnering the National Youth Wing for rolling out their, our programs since we took office. So we cannot come here without taking a word from FES Ghana. Please, with a round of applause, let's welcome Mr. Michael Abbey, who is the Programs Director for FES Ghana. Thank you very much, Amos, for the invitation to give a brief solidarity remark, I guess. Your Excellency, the former President of the Republic of Ghana, the National Chairperson of, or Chairman of the NDC, Dr. Samuel Ofusu Ampofo, the General Secretary, Honorable John Sina Seydun Ketia, Professor Nana Jane Opoku Ajiman, my own mother, the former running mate to the NDC flag bearer in the 2020 election, senior comrades of the NDC gathered here, particularly friends from the Tain fraternity. Indeed, the Friedrich Ebert Stifton is particularly happy to partner once again the NDC to come your way with the launch of the Tain app. FES is 50 years in Ghana, which implies that uh, we've been working on a number of topical issues for over five decades now, 
and key amongst them is the progressive partnership we've had with the NDC. Indeed, for over two, three decades now, our working with the NDC has been very progressive. It has led to some reforms and some very interesting outcomes, which we are all mutually happy about. And when you monitor our engagement with the NDC, we have deliberately also, as a social democratic political organization, chosen to deliberately engage with some key organs of the party. So we have the youth wing, we have the women's wing, we have the party school for ideological purposes, of course we have the party's research team, and other civil society organizations that work to also help bring reform and progressive outcomes for the NDC. And as social democrats, and I believe as we all are, we all believe in the concept of intergenerational justice, which implies that as an organization or a political party, or to a large extent a government, whatever we do through our conduct, our actions, our inactions, should also have in mind how that bears consequence on future generations. And as social democrats, we should be deliberate about this. And it is where this particular activity comes to the fore as far as FES Ghana is concerned. Again, we've observed that there are limited spaces for engagement for young people in the political parties across the country. And we think the launch of this app could provide a safe space for engagement, for political discourse by young people so they can equally contribute to the growth and development of their party and, of course, the mother Ghana. And so FES is highly happy and uh, we have a number of activities in the pipeline with the NDC Youth Wing, equally with the Women's Wing as well. I think next month we are supposed to be in the north with the party school together with progressive intellectuals to train some faculty for the party school. And uh, we are hoping in the pipeline now having some discussions with SPD in Germany, the Youth Wing, to have a lasting ongoing relationship with the NDC Youth Wing. And when that materializes, we shall approach the National Executive Committee of the NDC to fully bring this to fruition. So we welcome all of you, and uh, we hope to have a successful launch. Thank you very much, Amos. Thank you very much, Mr. Michael Abbey. Remember, we are live on TV XYZ, Power FM, Ahunto FM, Accra FM, CTV, Wazo TV, and Class FM. Acknowledge all constituency executives who have joined us here. For want of time, we may not be able to mention you by names, but we appreciate all of you, and uh, we thank you for coming. We have with us the former NUCS president, Osman Ayarga, with us. Please, can we appreciate him? We also have the Ashanti Regional Deputy Women Organizer, Madam Mary Usi, with us. Is she here, please? Thank you very much. The next person to address us is the man all of us know. He's the deputy, no, he's rather the president of Socialist International. <laughs> Vice president, yes the Vice President of Socialist International. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, let's welcome the General Secretary of our party, Honorable John Sina Siedu in Ketia. Hey! 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 Mr. Chairman, Your Excellency, to save time, I'll beg to stand on the existing protocols that have been carefully established by previous speakers. I know that today is not for long speeches, because when I look at your faces, everybody is salivating to watch the demonstration of the app. So I don't intend to bore you with any long speech. I'll begin by congratulating the 
National Youth Wing for the level of activism that we are experiencing these days. For the past 10 days, this is about the fourth program that I've been uh, invited to. Last week, we were in Bronga Hafo. We did a wonderful program. Then after that, we were ambushed to yet another program at uh, Sunyane Nursing Training. Um, two days ago, we were at Cape Coast University, and today we are here. I'm only praying that we'll give us some briefing space for the next one week. <laughs> give us some briefing space for the next one week. But it's all uh, for the good of the party, because we all know that if you look at our population dynamics, majority of Ghanaians are youthful, and therefore majority of the electorates are also youthful. So no party can survive and continue to win elections without focusing on the youth wing and the women's wing. Um, the position I occupy as Vice President of Socialist International has allowed me to know how other political parties focus on their youth and their women's wing. And they do so with this type of um, organization that we are seeing that is being demonstrated on our youth front now. I was invited to Angola some time back. We looked at their party, and the party membership register for the youth wing alone was two million. And then the women's wing was four million. And these are people who have been documented. It's not just about counting of votes. These are members who have been documented and recognized with ID cards and so on. And so any day that, that our sister party is going into any election, they have at least six million votes from only the youth wing and the women's wing. It is with this knowledge that I became very excited when uh, my national youth organizer decided to go this way. Let me congratulate the youth wing very much for this effort. My only problem is that I'm expecting Pablo to change his name. Because you know what Pablo now represents in Ghana. <laughs> and so... me that general you had the parable you spoke about 
at a rally in Ashaman when we were celebrating our 25th anniversary. I say yes. So this is an occasion to repeat the parable. It has to do with somebody who has lied his way into power and didn't know what to do, how to run a country. So he approached a philosopher that, how can I run this country? Now I'm in power. And people are expecting so much from me. So, okay. Take these three envelopes. After your first hundred days, people will start demanding the fulfillment of the various promises. So, when the heat starts, go and open envelope number one. There is advice in it. Use it, and it will take you for about one year. After that, when there is trouble, go and open envelope number two. It will carry you ahead. Then, when there is still trouble, after you have implemented the recommendations contained in envelope number two, then you go and open envelope number three and you have the final solution for your problems. So my man went. After the first hundred days, people started asking, but what are your achievements for the first hundred days? And the heat was mounting. So he went and opened his box, took envelope number one, Open it, and the uh, advice written inside is, blame your predecessor. <laughs> so he came and said, oh, you know, the economy has been destroyed. Everything has been messed up by my predecessor. Even where you go and sell things and they are not bought, oh, it is my predecessor who spoiled the market. Everything, practically everything that wasn't working was blamed on the predecessor. And the media got carried along. Everything blamed predecessor. So we are at the stage of blaming predecessor when we did the Ashamai event. And that was where I indicated that very soon the blaming of predecessors will be a thing of the past. So our president blamed predecessors up to a point. Then people started asking questions. But precisely because our predecessors couldn't solve the problem, that is why we voted for you. So solve the problems and don't blame your predecessor. Predecessor is gone. And having spent two years, you cannot continue blaming predecessor. Tell us how you solve those problems. Then the heat started again. So he called the philosopher that the heat is back. And then I said, oh, don't worry. Go and open envelope number two. So he went and opened envelope number two. And the recommendation was that blame the international community, blame the unfair international economic order. So he now came, oh, you know, the problem we are going through is because of influenza. It's because of, I didn't say COVID. <laughs> you know, because of uh, Ukraine, because of this, because of that. So, 
Then the press joined in. Then, after one year, the people started up. But this international environment, are all these countries not within the same international environment? If we say that our currency is the least performing, what other currencies are competing with our currency? And those currencies, are they not for countries that are operating in the same environment? So it cannot be any international problem because Togo is operating within the same international community. Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, South Africa, Angola, Egypt, everybody is within the same international environment. So if your city is falling, why would you blame it on international environment? If it is about Ukraine, oh well, if it is about USA, <laughs> if the effect of the war is directly uh, due to the impact of the reduction in oil supply. And that affects everybody. Some countries don't even produce oil. But maybe your Oga is producing oil in his country. So if he's saying that it is because of the oil uh, short, shortage, because of the sanctions, it cannot be. So people started asking questions that this one, we, we don't believe it. I'm not the one asking the question, so I see some people. Then he called the philosopher again and said, okay, go and open the last emblem. The ultimate solution is there. So he rushed, took the envelope and opened, and the recommendation was prepare your handing over notes. No, thank you very much. Please, we can do it better for the General Secretary of the NDC. Again, we are live on TV XYZ, Power FM, Ahunto FM, Accra FM, CTV, Wazo TV, and Class FM. We are joined by Bawa Mubarak, the Deputy National Team Coordinator. We also have with us Engineer Edu, who is leading the Western Regional Team Team. He is the Chairman of the Western Regional Youth Working Committee. He is also here with us. We have the National Coordinating Secretary for USAC, Kofi George Abua, also here with us. Please, let's acknowledge them. Next on the agenda is the more reason why we are all here today, the unveiling of the app. We have a technical person who will take us through what the app, the make of the app, how it, it will function, what is in the app, what it will be used for, how it will register, he will handle all this. So ladies and gentlemen, Help me invite Hari Kakari Enchi, who is a member of the NDC National Youth Wing, for the unveiling of the chain app. Ezu, Ezu, Eza, we all know that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. Is a 21st century political leader, and his affection for the youth has brought him here today. Let's give him a round of applause, please. The National Youth Organizer, Lawyer Giorgio Pariado, I want all of us, um, with my humble plea, be on our, uh, on our feet with a standing ovation. Let's give him a round of applause, please. Lawyer George Pariado. 
Pablo. This is the first time in a political history in Africa that a party has put young people on a platform to share ideas, interact, and then bring bare the ideologies of their party, the NDC. We are party of the people, we are party for the young people. And in 2024, we are putting every student in a bus to vote for the NDC in the next election. The journey to that place starts here. This conference, my job here is to take you to the app and then let you know how it works. Today's world is increasingly moving digital, presenting opportunities for accelerated methods of getting things done. Over the years, the NDC in general, and TAIN in particular, have struggled to capture reliable membership database, provide easy methods of payment of dues by members, and ensure effective financial administration of TAIN dues. It is against this backdrop that the National Youth Wing, under the auspices of the National Youth Organizer, Lawyer George Opariado, developed a solution, a digital solution of that matter to this problem, the Teen Mobile App. A lot of students on our various campuses sympathize with the NDC when they leave home for school. However, by the time they leave school, many of them may have either become very apathetic towards politics or political activism, or may have decided to join another political party. This is due to the mobilization problems faced by the real state chapters across our tertiary institutions. This is why the Tain Mobile App has been developed to bridge the mobilization gap in Tain and recruit members, nurture the next generation of loyal NDC members, activists, and leaders. Now, this is the first part of the app, the membership data. Registration of new members. Now, the information of new members is captured directly onto the app during registration. Membership data. The app shall host a national membership database for information and members across the country. A Tain ID card automatically will be generated for members who sign up on the app. On this, you can have your ID card on your phone everywhere you go. We don't want to face issues of, I've, I've lost my ID card, I can't find it, it is faded away. The ID card is going to be on your phone. You can print it out yourself if you want to print it out, but it's going to be digital. Everybody is going to have a special code for his or her ID card. Now, there is going to be an alumni database on the app. So it means that not only students can pick up their phones and then be a member of TEEN. You can sign up, select the year you join TEEN, and the app will automatically put you in an alumni group where you can also have information from your other colleagues as well. Mobilization and recruitment. One day, we were working on the the NDC 2020 election campaign, and then lawyer George Parado called me that we have an issue with polling agents, and um, it's a big headache for the flag bearer, and we should come up with a solution to that. It was around 1 a.m. He was on his way from Tamale for a program when I called him that the team has put together an app which is going to solve the problem. You know, he didn't wait. That 1 a.m., he placed the call to whoever he asked to, connected us with the rest of the team. We formed a page at 2 a.m. and then started working on this project. And uh, that is why I always say that he is a man of the people and he carries his words along. Now, mobilization and recruitment. Election campaign volunteer mobilization. Mobilizing volunteers 
that the students for the party will be easier on this app tracking constituencies and branches as well will be done because when we get to the exhibition you will see that you put your polling station code along with your constituencies in the app with that we can trace you and know that okay you are from Medina polling station a and we have 10 10 students in this polling station let's give it to honorable sosu and then he will enroll them on his campaign team train them ahead of the polling station job and we will get on grounds people to work as agents monitoring and evaluation as feedback there's also a section that allows people to give out their evaluations as well the communication feature during the 2020 campaign the facebook data analytics said that um, the three top most accounts that spent on digital marketing one was an account called john mahama 2020 second was his excellency john mahama's account the third in the entire ndc was george opariado's account that account sponsored most of the digital ads on our Facebook platform for the 2020 election. It is a data out there. I'm sure everybody can go and then search for it. And so on the back of that, the app comes with a feature which allow members to communicate like a WhatsApp platform, chat in a group, ask you, Charlie, what's up? What did happen today? There's an app here, there's a program here. You can chat as members on the app. So Tane has its own WhatsApp app as well. And then also, the app also comes with a publicity feature. When we get to the demonstration aspect, I'll talk a bit on that. Financial mobilization and security of app. Pablo, Kobe, Charlie, thank you, NOST. Where are they? Uh, they are doing very well as well, Teoflos. We have a program, oh. we need money. And let's call Pablo. Everybody, let's call Pablo. Harry, where is the rest of the team? Uh, the national team secretariat um kawawa bright and everybody let's put up a solution to this so with their imaginations we said that we are going to let people pay their dues on the app so it means that when you pick up your phone before you can access your membership card you have to pay your dues just 20 cities annually you pick up your phone you pay your dues and the money directly goes to the institution where you are from so that the 10 institutions the regional executive the regional team can have percentages to work in the various region and in the various institutions without having to call pablo for funds anymore there's also a security feature which at the end of the projection we will let the technical person in our team to come and give us a short analysis on the security of the app now let's move to the app itself sign up feature as a member this is the interface of the app you click on the sign up and it takes you to the next page welcome to join team the first feature is your name you put in your full name make sure you put your full name there because in the future if you want us to reference you as a team member you should be able to get your full name you put in your telephone number, your date of birth, where you are from, that is the constituency. You select your gender as well. And then the institution that you are from. The constituency also has aligned itself with the polling station codes. So you have your ID card, you see that you have a polling station codes on it, and then you select as well. Once you are done, you put in your program of study. The reason I'm, we put in the program of study is that we might not know 2024. No, we know that 2024 NDC will be in power. And when we are in power, we need members of the team to man some sectors of the economy. We don't have to go around looking for information. We can just go to the app. We need somebody who is an electronic engineer we can pull up the data of all 10 institutions who read electric engineer, examine them, and then prepare them for that position. And so with this, 
we are putting things in front for the 2020 elections 2024 sorry so from there you move and then you sign up now this is um, one security feature called the one-time password otp with this feature we will need you to put in your phone numbers we need active phone numbers because you will send you a one-time password and then a four digit will be generated for you and then you put it here as well and then you move to the next section which allows you to provide or upload your personal image or profile picture on the app now that profile picture is what is going to be on your membership card we don't want a situation where someone will say that the picture of my membership card is not me I witnessed one when I was in KNOST. When I took a look at my membership, I said, nah, that's, that's, not, that's not me. So this one, you get to upload your own profile picture, and the app will automatically generate the membership card for you with your profile picture. We don't want any wahala. And um, these are some of the things that comes up. Um, when you talk about easy tracking of information, alumni platform, and the birthday wishes. When you are done, the app puts you in a waiting room. Now, what is the waiting room? We have administrators and students who will have to vet you before you are accepted on the app. Nobody can just come and then, you know, be a member just like that. There should be some swag. So the waiting room there, you would wait. Your account will be reviewed if indeed your picture is, is a nice picture. If it's not, we can reject your account. Your name is the actual name and all that. And when you are approved, you will be receive, you receive an email notification with your email and password. That is why your email should be very active when you are signing on the app. Once you receive your email, you come back and then you sign in right after signing in because the passwords generated for you are random it gives you access to put in your personal password something you can remember after you are done signing in this is the interface of the app what's new now on top of the app there is a platform for advertisement if MTN knows that Tin NDC has 50,000 members on one platform, they will come and advertise because they want their product to get out there. If any corporate institution knows that you have 100,000 young people on one app, they will come and advertise. They will bring money. We will take it and use it to run our elections in 2024. <laughs> we will take it. And then we are going to make sure that the various teen institutions get a percentage of that money to run the affairs of teen. There is not going to be any financial gaps in teen moving forward. That is why I want everyone to put their efforts in making sure that this app goes global. There's also a section on the app that gives uh, birthday wishes. So because we capture your date of birth, if it is your birthday, the app will display your image there, and then it will tell everybody in your institution that today is His Excellency John Dramani Mohammed's birthday, and he's a member of the Tenure Institution, and that you people can wish him a happy birthday. Now, it gives you a platform to text him, Mr. President, happy birthday. I mean, this is wonderful. <laughs> the other feature of the app it's called the, the chat side. Let's chat. This is what the let's chat does. This is just a text sample. Based on your year group, it puts all of you in one platform. If you completed in 2016 or you joined in 2016, it puts everybody on one platform where you can interact as students or as alumni. There's a drop down menu on the app. This interface provides a general overview of what the app is about and what to look out for. There is activities, there is discover, there's meeting places. If today 10 institution, let's say UPSA wants to have a meeting in one of the buildings, they can just go into the app via the administrator's side, 
put in a Google map, drop it, and then everybody in the institution can just pick up the app and know that there's a meeting here. I just have to go. Very seamless. I've spoken about the meeting places and then the alumni groups already, so please let's move on, Derek. The dues collection aspect. You see that there is a green plus bottom on the right corner down there, depending on where you are standing. And uh, you click on it, it takes you to the next stage, which allows you to pay your dues using mobile money. That is the only way we are going to be taking the dues. But with time, we are going to sink in Visa and then MasterCard as well. So that students who are not in Ghana, who wants to pay their dues, can pay. We will take it. If you are in the US and you want to pay your dues, you can use MasterCard. With time, we are going to sink that in. And once you pay your dues, it automatically reflects. You can print your receipt and the Tain National Secretariat will get a notification that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama has paid his dues of 20 cities. The profile side. On this aspect of the app, you get to see your picture, your special thing ID card, your name, your constituency, your police station code, and then everything about you. If you want to change your image, you can change it here. So today, I, I, I mean, I'm looking good. I want to take a picture and upload, and then get my teen ID card looking very nice. I can just go there, edit it, upload a very nice image of myself, and you will get it reflecting on your membership card everywhere you, you go. Now, there is a sample of the NDC membership card. With your image on the other side, your institution will be there, your special code, your name as well, and a beautiful NDC logo on the right side. Now, this property is not your property. It's a property of the NDC. And so when you find it anywhere and it's missing, you can kindly send it to any nearest NDC office. There's a portion which uh, also lets you know your executives from the national youth organizer to his deputies to the 16 regional youth organizers and their deputies the national team secretariat and their deputies and the regional team secretariat it comes with their images their name and then their position the last part of the app is know about team NDC and social democracy. It gives you a whole brief about what thing is about, the history and where we are today. This aspect also gives you access to the national thing social media handles. You just click on it and then it will take you there. And then I will just end with the words of Stephen Downs. He's a research analyst from Canada into digital marketing technology. He said that the internet is gradually moving society from representative democracy to participatory democracy. It does this by creating the capacity for individuals or groups to do things for themselves. We are here, we are doing this for ourselves, for NDC, and in the future, when our sons and daughters pick up their phones and they are able to register without having to go to stand through the sun and then uh, witness a pen and paper kind of registration. In this digital age, we can attribute it to today and the leadership of the NDC led by the chairman of the National Democratic Congress and his executives. And then I would like to say a very big thank you to everybody here. I would like to also acknowledge the initiative and the funding, the support from Pro Forum. Their initiative and their support has brought us here today. I would like to also acknowledge Michael Abe on his support from FES, putting all of us here today. The National Team Secretariat, led by David Derry, Heti, Kawawa, and everybody, their support, late night calls, late night conversations, and I, I'm glad 
that way we've managed to put in on a digital map. Thank you very much. And then I would like to call Abraham to give us a brief understanding of the security features of the app. People are wondering, where is my data going to be stored? The National Youth Organizer has bought service in Finland and in Germany, which is going to host everybody's, I mean, let's give, it a, let's give him a round of applause, which is going to host everybody's data in the end. This is Michael, he's part of our team. I'll leave him to speak briefly about the security of the app before we will let His Excellency, the former president, to come and launch it officially. Thank you very much for your time. So, good afternoon. I think Harry did his well, work so well, he's ended up doing half of my work. So, I'll just touch on a few considerations we made in putting up this application. You would realize in Harry's presentation, he made a, a lot of points about your data, as capturing your data, and its usage in the system. Now, we don't want your data to be in the hands of we don't want your data to be in the hands of people who are, who are not authorized to use your data. So we have put in place some considerations. The first thing we have done in Harry's presentation, if you recall, he mentioned that um, there's something called a one-time password, which is also abbreviated as an OTP. Now, this is for us to ensure that Whoever is signing up on the app, it's someone we can verify. So in order to complete your registration, we send you an SMS to an active phone number. This is a feature that you would realize is common on most applications that are security conscious. Example, your online banking systems. So if you want to access certain private information, this verification is mostly done. So this is one consideration we've made in the application. Another thing we've done is to also consider all the requirements and the prerequisites necessary for holding and keeping your data. So we ensured we followed the requirements of the Data Protection Commission and made sure we did not go against what the law has stated your data can be used for. And in doing that, we also put your data not in one location because we are thinking about how to ensure the system is always highly available. So in a case of any issue, you wouldn't go on your system and start getting errors or start getting messages letting you know that you can't access whatever information has been collected on the system. So your data which is collected and processed in the system is spread across a cluster that is positioned in different geographic locations. So you realize Harry mentioned Finland, Germany, and other locations. Now, this is done to ensure that it, whenever there's an issue with one data center, usage of the system can always be guaranteed. So we do this to ensure that the system is highly available and continuous usage and business continuity is always guaranteed and ensured. So these are some brief things we've put in place. Um, I wouldn't want to go too in-depth and get too technical, so I'll just end it here and say thank you once again for having us. Thank you very much. Please, let's give it up to Harry and his team. They've done a fantastic job. They deserve all the plaudits. Again, we are live on TV XYZ, Accra FM, CTV, Ahunto TV, Wazo TV, and Class FM. We've been joined by Dr. Fred Awa, who is the patron for the host institution, UPSA. Please give it up to Dr. Fred Awa. Thank you very much, Doc. Normally, after every presentation, we take questions, but unfortunately, today, we will not take questions. I know some of you have questions. You jot down your questions. The National Youth Organizer has directed all the national uh, youth leaders to organize regional team conferences where 
Harry and his team will come and take us through the technical aspects of the app. So all your questions will be answered when we organize the regional team conferences. Unfortunately, this program, we may not be able to take questions. So you keep your questions. When we get to your region, Harry and his team will answer all the questions. Thank you very much. Ezu, Ezu, youth, 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 power, 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 action. With a round of applause, please join me, welcome the 2020 running mates of the NDC, Professor Nana Jane Opoku Ajeman. Please let's be outstanding as we welcome her to the podium. Me. Okay, I think it's fine now. Uh, let me address the chairman of the party, who is also the chairman for the occasion. Um, acknowledge JDM, the nation builder. I wish to individually acknowledge everybody who is here, and even those who are listening to us or watching us. Let me congratulate the youth wing and for this fine initiative. I'm not surprised at all because it's never lost on me what the youth can do if we give them the opportunity, if we give them the support. And the vandals, where are they? You know, you bring many memories, but we won't talk about it today. I know what you are capable of when you get together with Katanga and Casford. And many of the things you can do all by yourselves, but when you get together, then it's a different type of magic. And I heard in, you, in one of your lyrics that power belongs to JM. And it is true. And when he gets the power, he does not abuse it. He holds the power carefully in the hollow of his hands because he understands that the power has been invested in him by others. Congratulations. He uses the power and employs other sober minds and not loud mouths. He uses language that is uplifting and not insulting. He uses his power to encourage and not to intimidate. He uses his power to tolerate those who disagree with him and not to threaten them. He understands that power is to create peace and not insecurity. And he knows that the power gives him the confidence and the maturity to accept responsibility and not to run away when he's called to account. I don't want to speak for a long time. I want to encourage the youth you, Marty. And Tain, today you look so energized. You look so energized, it is infectious. You have electricity that will not be cut off. Your lights will glow brighter and brighter. Are you cool? You are in Tain because you can tell the difference between what is fake and what is real. And we encourage you to stay there. You are intent because you have evidence of a party that cares about the youth. A party that cares about the youth invests in the youth. And you begin to invest in the youth by paying attention to their training 
And that is why you know, and that is why there's evidence that it is NDC that removes schools from under trees. Because the children will become our youth and they will become our future. It is the NDC that builds the e-blocks because it didn't envisage a double track. It is the NDC that turns the polytechnics to technical universities. I was listening to a program this morning on one radio station, Name Withheld, and the panelists or the discussants were saying, oh, how they've turned them into universities and now you have marketing and so on. We understood why we didn't have enough students offering the technical subjects, and we put in the, the strategies to ensure that we get adequate students who will fill the technical subject because we heard our president say often and again and again how we need to add value and we thought that value will be added by paying serious attention and not lip service to TVET. And when we said review, others said we were going to cancel. And today, we are waiting for the definition of review from the Black Dictionary, since that is the source that they use for many things. From your reps, you know, when they mention the regions, I, I, I was looking to see a, a few more women. So I want to charge the executives. Next time we meet, we want to see more women.
thank you. Thank you. Bandal mates. Bandal mates. Bandal mates. We never fail to disappoint. <laughs> Um, when I went to Commonwealth, I lived in 836. And when you enter Banda City, you know A block is the first block on your left. And you have the staircase that goes up to the Baku Shrine, where Father Baku says. And that's, and that's where the, the, the charging takes place, the choir, the choir practices there every evening and so even though I didn't join the choir I could sing all the songs because I couldn't help <laughs> and so there's the original one but I know you have the vandal version you know that one <laughs> So <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And that's the Vandal version. I was singing the original church version. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, and uh, let me stand on existing protocol so that we save some time. Um, my 2020 running mate, um, Professor Nana Jane, charged the youth wing on two things. One, two, organize the women, the ladies, and bring more of them into, into the fold. And um, I want to clarify her organization, um, because I remember when I was a little boy, my dad was a member of the CPP, and Kwame Nkrumah urged them to organize the women. Some people took it very literally, and uh, <laughs> I don't want you to follow follow that <laughs> that example in history <laughs> when she says organize the women she means bring more women into the fold <laughs> i don't know what methods you are going to use but any method is acceptable to increase the female membership in our team <laughs> and then she also urged us not to forget our colleagues in the informal sector, who are also youth, and um, are sitting next to uh, the National Youth Organizer, and I think they've made some effort already. They've started something, and they call, call it the Traders and Artisans Network, targeting young people in the informal sector. <laughs> and this links to what was contained in our manifesto, especially to do with the National Apprenticeship Program where we we're going to organize free apprenticeship training for young people. And I think that the youth wing of the party can play a very important role in the implementation of this particular program. This launching of the, um, the team app is a digitalization in order to transform the administration and coordination of, of our team. And for those of you who follow the processes of digitalization, it is a facilitation that transforms and brings digital technology into any business process or anything you are doing. It could be agriculture, it could be your running your company, it could be marketing, whatever. If you bring digital technology in to facilitate the process, then you have digitalized your, um, your, your whatever it is you're doing. And that is 
this thing from digitization. A lot of time people interchangeably use the two. Digitization is moving anything from a certain format, that is text or documentation, into a digital format. And so it's just a one-off transfer. But digitalization is a transformation of your processes. And so this app is a digitalization of our chain processes in order that we're able to improve our administration and our coordination. And so let me commend all the young people who have worked on this. It's going to be a very useful tool for, life, for us. And let me commend the leadership of our youth wing for their continued efforts at strengthening that important wing of our party and the constant innovation that they continue to bring to the mobilization of young people of the country around the course of the National Democratic Congress. We have gathered here today to unveil yet another innovation which revolves around the use of technology to facilitate the party's work on the tertiary education front. I have every confidence that this will further enhance the gains made within the youth wing of the party and it will continue to make the NDC the party of choice for the young people of Ghana. The Tertiary Educational Institutions Network has a long and illustrious history as a cradle and conveyor belt of talent and incredible potential for a great party through careful and painstaking nurturing. Some of Ghana's best and brightest talents within the political and governance space cut their teeth with Tain. They've gone on to deliver impressive performances in just about every sphere of our national life. You must notice that when the um, Tain Jama was going on, uh, the Honorable Member for Medina removed his jacket and joined the Jama very vigorously. All of these were um, members of our team, and I can mention many more of them. I note that yet more potential exists on the various campuses across the length and breadth of Ghana who would be unleashed sooner than later to complement the efforts of their senior comrades who operate within the NDC. And there's more space for utilization of our young, vibrant youth in the electoral process of the party. And this app is going to make it possible for us to do so, both with current members of TEIN and alumni. That it is the desire of the NDC to maintain and improve on this tradition and track record for the general good of the party and the country as a whole. That desire is what has found expression in the launch of this application which is designed to modernize and inject greater efficiency into how organization of young people is carried out within the NDC. We have gathered for this launch at a time of great economic and social distress for the people of Ghana. The Akufuado led government that came to power on the back of mouth-watering promises to make life easier for Ghanaians and ensure rapid development of our country has so badly mismanaged the economy that we have been plunged into the most debilitating economic crisis in about four decades. Indeed, we all recollect some of those mouth-watering promises, including one by the current president to transform this country, Ghana, within 18 months. This crisis into which he has led us has spawned hardship and suffering for our people on a scale never witnessed in the 30-year history of our Fourth Republic. Daily price increases, fuel price adjustments, and nose-diving currency, which has rather arrested the person who said he would arrest, he had arrested it. <laughs> the dollar has rather arrested him. And so we're looking for him, we can't find him. I asked the IGP if he had the key so that we could find where our vice president was, and he said he doesn't have it, and he doesn't know his whereabouts. General incompetence, corruption, and waste of scarce resources have combined to make life simply unbearable for the generality of Ghanaians. General incompetence, corruption, and waste of scarce resources have combined to make life simply unbearable for the generality of Ghanaians. No group is perhaps harder hit than the young people of this country. The issues that affect the youth of Ghana who dominate our population are many, and in these times of severe economic downturn, 
they have inevitably been worse off than perhaps any other demographic group in Ghana. This government has bungled the important task of securing the welfare and well-being of our young people through sound policies on education and ensuring the availability of employment opportunities both within the public and private sectors. The government has been so poor in its policy making and delivery in education that at all levels, from basic through secondary right up to tertiary, the students of Ghana are suffering immeasurably. Non-release of funds, poor management of curricula, erratic school calendars, poor industrial relations with teachers, lecturers, and other stakeholders, among others, has created turbulence and conditions that are far from ideal and which threaten the achievement of quality outcomes in our educational system. Ghana is currently experiencing the highest level of unemployment recorded in the Fourth Republic at an estimated 14%. This government's response has been the adoption of short, sighted, populist, ad hoc, and poorly conceived programs that have done more harm than good. Even those enrolled on the NEJEC NAPCO program have found themselves at home after three years and have remained unpaid for several months. I hear that even national service personnel, for the first time, are owed several months' allowances. Our governance institutions have been politicized and have virtually become wings of the new patriotic party. Indeed, the problems of our country are legion, and the failure of this government has been spectacular on all fronts. In the coming days, I'll make a fuller statement on this state of affairs on behalf of the NDC, which remains the most viable alternative to this failed regime. I urge all our countrymen and women not to lose hope. Our constitutional democracy still has many instruments we can use to check an errant administration. And at this juncture, I wish to commend our gallant members of parliament for the good fights that they are putting up in the August House. We in the NDC can assure you that we will use all those instruments to pressure this government and hold it accountable to the people of Ghana. It is said that the darkest hour is just before the dawn. It is my firm belief that we should not despair, and Ghana will soon wake up from the nightmare that we are going through to a new dawn, where opportunities will be open to all Ghanaians and not a selected few friends and family. But today, we are here to launch the TAIN app, which is revolutionary in scope and will ensure seamless communication between TAIN chapters and their members. Indeed, when it was being launched, various uh, 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 uses to which the app can be put were uh, enumerated. For me, two stand out and are very important. Help in mobilizing volunteers for the party will be easier using this app, amongst others. And then also, most importantly, it will help us as a party to track constituency and branch polling stations of all TAIN members all over the country and provide a database on the constituencies and polling stations that these TAIN members belong to in order for it to be possible for the party to fall on them for special duties in their respective constituencies and polling stations when the need arises. And it is my hope that when this app is operational in the 2024 elections, we shall identify all the polling stations where our team members are registered. And we're going to recruit you to sit at the polling stations and make sure that the right thing is done. And I'm sure that with your input, I'm sure that with your input, if the elections are free and fair, I have absolutely no doubt that the NDC will emerge victorious. 
And so this app will go a long way to strengthen the activities of TAME and by extension the NDC. I commend the leadership of the youth wing once again for this innovation and it is my hope that this would not be the last we see in the efforts to make TAME the most formidable political force on all our campuses in this country. Let me join the National Youth Organizer to thank the Frederick Ebert Siftung FES for the continual collaboration we have with them. I just want to assure you that we appreciate everything that you are uh, doing for the NDC party. <laughs> Today I managed to persuade and drag my friend and brother here, who is the chairman of Passion Air, and Mr. Edward Annan, and um, I've consulted with him, and he's going to be, he's going to advertise Passion Air on the app so that we can raise some revenue. And we'll also provide, inshallah, discounted tickets for young people who want to travel, especially our team members. If, We'll provide you with take, uh, discounts if you have to travel uh, by passion air anywhere in the country. And so on this note, I hereby declare the team app duly launched. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Give it up to His Excellency. Thank you very much, Your Excellency John Dramani Mahama. So the TAIN app is duly launched in the coming days. So the Tain app is duly launched. You can download it on www.tainapp.com. Those using Apple phones is on the iOS, and uh, it will be it will be on Android phones tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so those with Apple phones can download it now, or even those with Android, you can use www.tainapp.com. Thank you very much. We started with the national chairman for his opening remarks. Once again, I invite the national chairman and the leader of our party, Dr. Samuel Ofusuampofu, for his closing remarks. Thank you very much. Um, I believe you all agree with me that... Thank you. I believe you agree with me that this program has been very, very, very well executed. And I want to congratulate the organizers for putting this together. Shall we give them a round of applause? I was just showing to my general secretary breaking news. And the breaking news from the Minister of Information is that all uh, flagship projects of government are going to be reviewed. And I ask, what, re what is the meaning of that review? If the meaning of that review is what we know, then it means that all of them have been cancelled. So, when I say 1D, 1F, you say Yamutu. 1D, 1F. One village, one dam. Allowance for nursing trainees. Planting for foods and jobs. School feeding program. 
Zongo Development Fund. Payment of rent allowance for workers. Uh, you can supply more, 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 more. And we can, we can only say that unemployment is going up, fuel prices going up, inflation going up, CD to dollar ratio almost getting out of hand. That is the state in which we are today. And so the launching of this appeal uh, app, my appeal to the youth is that let us use that platform for progressive things. We should not use that platform as a battlefield for linguistic uh, uh, battle, where people will go and then uh, trying to argue and argue, and this one is correct, this one is not correct. Please, I will also urge the National Youth Organizer and his team, link up with our research team. Let's get the manifesto of the NDC uploaded on the app. Let's get NDC philosophy and ideology loaded on the app. Let us get the history of the party. Uh, Professor Kofiato and his people and uh, Fris Bafo and others will be tasked to put the party history and then upload it so that when you go on that platform, there will be a lot for you to feed on. Otherwise, if we don't put this information, I will even add the parliamentary group that some of the uh, decisions and the debates and some of the very powerful uh, expositions that are made in parliament, let's get some of them uploaded. It will be a, a platform for training and capacity building. And I think that if we take this one serious, we will not be operating like the WhatsApp where people create WhatsApp and tomorrow is about you know, people themselves and just forwarding messages. Please, this one should be taken very serious. And national leadership will take interest in monitoring what is going on on this platform. And we will give you all the support. And I believe that if we are able to do that, we'll be able to spread the message across. Again, it is important for us to know that much of digitization is very important to reach out to several of our people. Research has also shown, and in fact, in the UK election, when we went to Labour uh, two years ago, we were told that about 30% of the votes were garnered through social media. So uh, the app can be used as a powerful tool for mobilization and for dissemination of party uh, campaign messages and others. Whilst looking at that, we should not go and stay in that world because there are some people who are living in the social world, social media world. They don't know what is happening in this physical world. Please, let us also devote time to move onto the field and combine both field work and social media work in order to mobilize the teaming supporters of our party to win and win convincingly. 2024, we want to win without doubt because we are not going to the Supreme Court. The results will speak for us. And I believe that with this app and many other initiatives by the youth and several other uh, party structures, victory will be ours. Thank you for supporting me to bring this exercise to a successful end. And God bless us all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, National Chairman, Dr. Samuel Ofosu Apofu. Ezu, youth, youth, I cannot feel the power. Youth, youth, power, power, action. Thank you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. All too soon, we've come to the end of this program. Um, but we cannot live here without acknowledging those who have helped us and your distinguished selves. So I invite the Deputy National Youth Organizer, Comrade Ruth Della Sedo, to give us the vote of thanks. Mr. Chairman, good day, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. All protocols duly observed. It is a great honor, privilege, to propose a vote of thanks on, the, on this memorable occasion. We remain grateful to the creator of the universe for making this occasion, the Tain Up Lounge, a resounding success. Our endless gratitude goes to the special guest of honor, His Excellency, John Dramani, Mahama, for his immense contributions 
continuous and most reliable support to the youth wing and the entire party as a whole. Our heartfelt appreciation also goes to our mother, mentor, and running mate in the 2020 general elections. She has never been absent in any of our programs. Mommy, thank you, and may God bless you. Our venerable national chairman, Honorable Dr. Samuel Ofosu Ampofu, the NDC Youth Wing appreciates your support and your presence. The legendary General Secretary, Honorable Johnson Esiedu Inketia, a.k.a. General Mosquito. <laughs> we are enormously grateful for all your support towards the Youth Wing's activities. We are also grateful to our national organizer for his continuous support and for all he has been doing for us. And to all our FEC members, we are grateful to all of you for your presence, your support, and your contributions to this program. Let me make a special mention of the National Youth Organizer, Honorable Lawyer George Opare Adu, under whose distinguished leadership the NDC Youth Wing has witnessed a significant trans transformation, elevation, and activism. We cannot stop singing your praises. We appreciate you. We also appreciate the presence and cooperation of our former appointees, our diligent and industrious and vigilant members of parliament, the NDC caucus. Please keep the blows coming at the MPP. We love it. Let me mention Mr. Stan Dogby. We appreciate you very much, and in fact, we are overwhelmed by your incredible performance when it comes to your job. If you look at what has happened here, you can see that it's his handwork, and we appreciate him so much. Our ever resilient and hardworking regional youth organizers, our team national and regional coordinators, our team executives, who have crisscrossed the length and breadth of this country to honor us with your presence, we say, are you cool? Our friends from the media, Wazo TV, Ahoto FM, TV XYZ, Class FM, and all of you, TV3, I see TV3, we, we appreciate you so much. We are grateful. Lastly, the NDC Youth Wing is very grateful to everybody whose cooperation made this function a success, especially NDC Pro Forum, FES Ghana. We appreciate all of you, the technical team, the vandals, vanda vandals. <laughs> Finally, I would like to leave you with this inspiring quote from Martin Luther King. An individual has not started living until he rises above the confines of his individualistic concerns to the broader concern of all humanity. May the spirit of togetherness, unity, and selflessness grow among us unabated towards Victory 2024 and beyond. A Victory 2024 that will deliver the Ghanaian people from the awful, unspeakable hardships abject poverty, intimidation, and crash corruption that we have been subjected to by the corruption clearing agent and the economic mess who has been a monumental failure. Bau Mia. May you all arrive safely at your destinations and we say thank you once again. May the almighty Allah, may the almighty God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deputy National Youth Organizer. After the, a quick announcement, after the closing prayer, please remain seated. There will be photo opportunity with His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and the leadership of the NDC at the national level. At, at this juncture, I call on the Deputy Regional Youth Organizer of Greater Accra, Al Haji Muhammad Judah, to Give us the closing prayer, a Muslim prayer.
Uh, I want all Muslims to join me in recite Salah, uh, Salah al Fatiha for the closing prayer. All Muslims, if you can recite Fatiha, join us to recite it. I know my national chairman is uh, think it, uh, saying something is bringing. You say Alaji Judah. <laughs> so <laughs> let's recite it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah ar-Rabbi al-Amin ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yawm al-Din. Iyaka na'abud wa iyaka nasta'im. Ihdina sirat al-Mustaqim. Sirat al-Lazina namta alayhim. Qaid al-Magdubi alayhim wa al-Dalin. Amen. Thank you very much, Elijah Muhammad Judah. So for the photo opportunity, we start with the regional youth organizers. Please, you move forward. We take a picture with His Excellency John Dramani Mahama in the 2020 running meet together with the national executives. Ten executives from other institutions, please be on standby. <laughs> 